In this tutorial, we'll be looking at using the Refine Edit tools in Premiere Pro. When we are talking about the Refine Edit tools, we are talking about these tools here, the Ripple Edit, the Rolling Edit, the Rate Stretch tool, and also the Slip and Slide tools. So let's have a look at what these tools do. So if I select the Ripple Edit tool, I can adjust the endpoint or the out points of a clip or multiple clips at the same time. And I'm basically, in this example, shortening those clips on the in point, or I can extend them. So I'm adding to those clips. Using the rolling edit tool, we can work with the in and the out point of two clips. So in this tool, the duration of the timeline doesn't change, but the duration of the clips that you're working on changes. So if I extend this to the right, I'm adding frames to the out point of this clip and removing the same amount of frames on the in point of this clip. Using the rate stretch tool, we can speed up or slow down a clip. So in this example, I'm adding frames to that clip, so I'm slowing it down. If I just undo that and take it to the left, then I'm removing frames, so I'm speeding it up. Then we have the slip and slide tool. So the slip tool allows us to work on a clip and select a different part of that clip. So the duration of that clip stays the same, but we're just selecting a different part of that clip. And the slide tool works with three clips. And here I can slide the clip that I'm working on either to the left. So if I move it to the left, I'm chopping frames of the out point of this clip and adding the same amount of frames to the in point of that third clip. Using the ripple or the rolling edit tool, I can double click and I get the options here in the program monitor. So I can also do this by adding frames, but I also have the option of adding a transition like that. And to know what your default transition is, or indeed if you want to change the default transition, you can just go into the effects tab under the video transitions dissolves and you can see here that my cross dissolve is the default transition because it has this blue outline around that icon. So I can change that to let's say the film dissolve, I can right click it and say set transition to be default. So now if I double click on a cut point and add this transition, that is now the film dissolve. And there we have the refine edit tools in Premiere Pro.